我带你飞，像蝴蝶，敲响金色的响音。飞。Where my sexy ladies at? Where my sexy ladies at? Yeah, 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 yeah. 我到白天，没有人在乎时间。Where my sexy ladies at? Where my sexy ladies at? 让我带你飞，像蝴蝶，敲响金色的响音。飞。Are we, uh, are we on the right one? What's this? Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh, I think that the, I think that our wonderful players are still muted, so let me fix that. How do I fix this? How do I unmute these guys? Welcome to a very, uh, professional stream. I gotta turn that music down a little bit. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Alright, I think that I got him. That's my normal lighting, but now I look like a... 
I like a ghost swapping back. What's happened to my overlay? It's all messed up. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just one thing after another. It's because you did a countdown. <laughs> You why got did, too excited. Why? Why, why, why did, the countdown? Why did I change things? <laughs> when that formula was working, we had a system before. in place. Why did I change things? That countdown. It was worth it to listen to that dope song before we went live. I don't what know. What was the song? It was. Uh, I actually don't know because <laughs> it's the name of the song is in uh, Cantonese and I don't know it you're that ruining much. the illusion I can't read it I can't read I can't read Cantonese it's by Edison Chen and MC Hot Dog uh, very very good song uh, you watch the replay oh actually it'd be muted because it's copyright I'll, I'll link you guys later yeah. how is everyone good just having lighting issues but as always who doesn't I'm very well, thank you. Jay Wall, I've accidentally kind of I'm I'm I've... like halfway on it, yeah. Yeah, I'll fix I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Oh now you're in uh Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're all swapping seats as musical chairs. <laughs> okay. That should all be good. Places. That should all be why am I kind of like over here? <laughs> <laughs> Deary me. Everyone likes a working progress stream. My like... one says We may have kind of really bad connection today, guys. Because my internet, as always, hates everything I do. It's not Moana again, is it? It's not Moana. We watched that earlier today. <laughs> so we've got I that have, out of the way. I have a one-year-old daughter. It's so frozen now. I, we also watched that today. Uh, so I watched a lot of Moana. I watched a lot of Frozen. I watched a lot of Hey Dougie. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm quite the connoisseur of Disney and CBBS. I mean, that's good because so am I. Well, it's <laughs> great because now you have a door, you have an excuse to keep watching all the stuff. Oh yeah, she doesn't watch it. No, <laughs> she doesn't. She, she she's not interested. Um. Yeah. So, who wants to recap last session? Now, this is officially episode two. Um. <laughs> That may be confusing because we've done three episodes. But the first one is Lost in Time like Tears in Rain. <laughs> we might release the tapes. We might not. We'll have to see. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. I, accidentally, I accidentally deleted them. Uh, from the archive. From the archive. So I actually um, don't have a copy. Uh, uh, which is pretty lame. The lamest. Can you say that anymore? I'm... I feel like you can't. I apologize what? if you can't. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember what happened last week. So we were... It wasn't last week, it was the week before. Because last week the campaign was still live. The Kickstarter campaign has now ended. And thanks to, I'm sure everyone that watched this has backed it. Or is planning to back it when it goes on, on Pledge Manager. We raised over a hundred of forty thousand pounds that would go towards Woo! the production of Carbon That's... 2185. <laughs> it's quite a lot. We we were aiming for ten. <laughs> ten. Ten would have been enough, to be honest. <laughs> but this just means it's going to be really good. It means you're going to have a lot of carbon content. <laughs> so much production now. Hmm. So, there's previously. literally going to be 20 more pieces of art in it. That's quite a lot. That's quite That's a insane. lot, actually. Mm. And art is expensive. It really yes, is. Yes, it's the, it's the biggest expense. It's good to pay our artists. Anyway, previously on. Previously on, Carver 2185. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, viewing. Sorry to interrupt again. <laughs> if you want to play Carver 2185, you can. You can get the quick start guide for free by signing up to our mailing list which is at www.dragonturtlegames.com you sign up for the mailing list there as soon as you sign up you'll receive an email with the quick start guide um it's version 0 0.2 at the moment so it's not it's not great there's still some stuff that needs to be added to it but it gives you a completely playable uh game you get all of your wonderful you get i think two classes two origins uh 
loads of weapons, loads of armors, loads of enemy stat bucks for the GM. It's really enough to play um, hours and hours and hours of games. So wait, that means I can start playing instantly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What are you watching this for? <laughs> so yeah, sign up to our mailing list. Also, when you sign up, when we go live on Pledge Manager, you get a notification. Uh, that's where you sort out your add-ons. If you haven't pledged yet, you can still pledge the campaign once it's on Pledge Manager. It costs a little bit more because you're late to the party, so you don't get the Kickstarter discounts. But you will be on the first wave of people who gets the book. You, know, you won't have to wait for it to hit stores or general distribution. You good? I think, that's Ooh, everything. I think that's everything. Uh, do you want to check your itinerary? Before? Thanks to our sponsor this week, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I sponsor. <laughs> it's Dollar Shave Club. We'll like, use it. <laughs> Can't you tell by our clean shaven. <laughs> uh, Dollar Shave Club aren't our sponsors. Yeah, aren't our sponsors, <laughs> but they are very welcome to sponsor us. <laughs> Hashtag wish we were sponsored. Yeah. Sweet at sweet at Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor Let them the know. We're we get, open. We get like two hundred views over the course of like a week. That's like that's not really compared to some streams. <laughs> but if the raises were only a dollar Maybe you can bribe us. I don't know. Maybe, don't know. maybe. Yeah. That's you know, our people will talk your people, it's fine. Thanks for our sponsors, Dragon Turtle Games. <laughs> <laughs> the best publishing company. Absolutely. <laughs> now you can go. So, now, uh, I've got the clear now. Okay, so. When last we left our people, <laughs> uh, we were contacted by an individual at the bar apparently employing from the Night Queen, right. asking us to come into a young heir to a large fortune, who had some very choice augmentations it's by the name of Jonathan, Jonathan Frank. 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 Junior. Franks. 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 It's, it's, you know, it's been a while. Uh, we, of course, being the upstanding citizens, thought this was not eligible obviously stealing kids but the individual assured us the fact that he was actually a lot older and a lot more devious than he had previously seemed which wasn't true but w was assuring for us we figured that out eventually uh, eventually took us a sec using some intuitive inspiration got into the school got young Jonathan from his class with some expert tactics. Yes. May have killed one of the guards, but that was an unfortunate collateral damage. They're expendable. Expendable, exactly. They come straight off the assembly line, it's fine. <laughs> he may have been a sim. <laughs> you don't know. We don't know, we don't know. Uh, after some happy fun times with Jonathan, taking him back to a warehouse, trying to protect him from said uh, individual who was trying to assassinate him. We yeah, realized- his security team turned up. Yes, weirdly, which weirdly had the same guy we had been talking with. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. So, and young Jonathan, not entirely believing us, because why would he at this point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was less than trusting of us explaining to him that these were dubious individuals uh, resulted in us of course killing all of them as you do yeah, uh, you. is do and of course taking him back and dropping him off to his complex of his home I think you sent him off in an ultra luxe actually I think we dropped him off and then we left at the ultra Uh I believe it ended with him kind of banging on the window as the car was driving off crying Yes, Waving uh, goodbye to the only father figure he's ever had. It's true. Brick, <laughs> single tear, rolling down the face. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Quivering lip. Uh, we then elected to the fact that since we had killed the security team for such a high-ranking uh, member of society, perhaps we should go off-grid and move out of our 
cat factory warehouse that we had taken up reference but you to. Also, uh, you also got paid a lot. You got paid most of the money. Most oh. of the money. Rebus yeah. was not as lucky. So he's scrounging off these two for a little while. Yeah, you guys you guys got paid like a lot of the money up front um, for saving this, for kidnapping this kid. Allegedly kidnapping. That's kid the saving the kid. That's yeah, what we did. Saving, yeah. well, I mean, you did actually kidnap him. Yeah, that's in legal terms. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's it didn't true. end at kidnapping. It started with kidnapping, but that was not the main course of action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so then you, I believe you decided to throw a massive kegger at your path, at your house. That's uh, right, after a month of, uh, a month of hobo living <laughs> with intricate stories that lasted for 30 days. Yeah, all neatly we don't just, We up. don't talk about... Yeah, we don't talk about the hobo times. We yeah, we talk about this fight. <laughs> the dark times that they are. We want to repress them as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah, you we... uh, you were contacted by Jonathan Frakes Senior, who managed to track you down. <laughs> Hello. How? How? Well, it was pretty easy. As soon as you popped back up onto the grid, he was like, "Oh, there they are." <laughs> I... That's them. I've been looking for those guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, he said, I got a job for you guys. 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Be there. Be square. Mm -hmm. Um, And you guys said, okay, cool. We'll be there. But let's have a party first. So that's actually where we're going to take off. We're going to be at your party. Sick. I've been waiting for this since we started. It was all an excuse <laughs> yeah. for me to get the Baileys out and have a kegger. Yes. Uh, your housewoman party is raging. There have only been a handful of fist fights. Nobody's been pushed off the balcony. Uh, you know, so, so far, as for one of your parties, it's very tame. It's currently 1 a.m. We've got to step it up. Come on. If there's not at least two casualties, yeah. it ain't worth talking no, about. No one's in hospital. No one's died. Uh, so it's going really well. It's going really well for you. I'm just uh, handing out the bloom lights to people. Just literally who's going there? like, get, what kind of get fun some, get some. There? All of the all of the gang that you've that you've managed to uh, managed to accumulate over the over the years, over your past adventure, over the thirty days. <laughs> Dirty John and the boys are there <laughs> from, from the bridge. The bridge. Dirty bridge. John. Dirty John. God, we've been through some shit, died. Dirty John. I know. But one of the people here, the always slim, always well dressed, always pompadoured young man Jack Chow, oh. uh, who you know very well as the leader of the Washington Street Boys gang, Chinatown in District Five. Jack Chow approaches you uh, and he says, Guys, this new place is great. We've got to get some of the Washington Street boys down here soon, you know what I mean? Hells yeah, Chow. I want to give him a fist bump. Yeah, he, he, he's up for it, man. His, his hands just covered in these gold rings. It's listen. Ow. I got a job for you. 200,000 longs. You in or not? He said, That's like. That's like a bit of rent in it. He says, no, Listen, he says. You need to call your mamas first. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Chow! When have we never been down for two hundred? Come on. That's true. Uh, he says, "Hang on a minute." He says, I, "I need to close my office door." What a strange thing for him to say. It, it, it's, I mean, <laughs> slang in the future your really doesn't really, well. It's really weird <laughs> yeah. for him to say that at your party in your house. I think house. closing. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Chow. Like... And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry talking about man. office doors. He's like, I've been, I've been hitting the crush a bit too hard. I forgot where I was. <laughs> whoa, 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 man. You ain't turning into a Wesley now, are you? No, no, no. I ain't no Wesley. It's, oh, it's he's a, a rat. Don't worry. He's a, I'm a real rat. Good rat. Yeah, real rat. <laughs> now, listen. A little bump here and now. It keeps me on my toes, you know. How do you think I stay so slim and young? It's true. He says, how old do you think I am? Go on. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you know can't... every time we play uh, this game, no, no, you no, get no, no. Pulse. Pulse. Oh, I want Pulse to tell me how young he oh, thinks no. I am. Mm. 
As soon as he says like something, I'm like going higher, lower, trying to get range. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just looking at him like this high or the, like no way of gauging it at all. I'm like yeah, I'm, I'm just like <laughs> I'm like ten drinks in. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like twenty one. Twenty one. He says he's joking. You think I can run a gang at twenty one? He says, "Come on, guess again." Well, I did say 61. ten. 61? Forget it. Forget out. <laughs> it's his place! <laughs> I just For continue. how long? I continue drinking. <laughs> Is that right, right, right? Rebus, you, you know your stuff. I, mean, I know a thing or two. Go on. <laughs> well, it's one and two, so uh, I'm done. How old do you think I am? Come on, how old do you think I am? Come on. Ah, uh, we've been over this, man. You always get so insulted. I mean, I mean, you don't look a day over nineteen, but you know. That's the right answer. I don't look a day over nineteen. <laughs> I just looked at Pulse. Like, see, that's how you do it. <laughs> Vanity. That's what you have to play up. To. You just, I'm just kind of his hair, pompadour, baseball yeah. jacket. <laughs> Gold rings and chains. Perfectly white teeth. This is like, a man of my stature. Built in know. shades. Built in shades. Open and closed. And he looks really cool. Uh, but I mean, vis visually you would say he's in his mid-30s. <laughs> but hey, you know. We wouldn't say to his age. face. That is the clear definition here. No, you would not say it to his face. He's a very vain, very, very vain man. He says, listen... I got some problems. There's a tower block near here. Actually, where are we? What district are we in? Uh, district three, right? Four, two. Which uh, is the good one? Three. So we were like, we were in the middle tier. We were like, we, we were right in the middle. Yeah, yeah so we weren't too three. greatly appreciated in tier one. weren't allowed back in district five. So, yeah, middle ground. Yeah. Okay. Tier three. District three. He says, oh, okay, uh, it's like, well, it's in District 4. Oh, it's a tower block. skipping a jump. Uh, he says, the whole tower block is ran by the Zef, the Zef gang. He says, now these guys, they owe me a little bit of money. That's not why I want you to go in there. He says, I want you to go in there. Uh, I don't know how you get in there. Don't say my name. Do not say my name. Hey, mom's the boy chow. Get in there. 52nd floor, there's an apartment. Okay. You recognize it because it calls itself the Hendrix Lounge. Right? On the door, spray paint Hendrix Lounge. You're going to go in there, kill everyone, take what they got, bring it back to me. Like, you might have to write this down, chow. I'm like 11 blue dice into this point, so... Uh... Bloom light! <laughs> Bloom lights! Yeah, the details are sort of fading right now. Did you guys got that? 52nd Hendrick... 52nd floor. Hendrick's lounge. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick lounge. Lamar. Oh, Kendrick man. Lamar. That's some... I love Historic... classical music. Historic president... Kendrick Lamar. He says, I think Kendrick Lamar is probably my favorite classical musician. I mean, he does have some sick, sick, dope, dank beats there, fella. He says, now, he says, like you guys, this place is just full of guaylos, so you're gonna fit in. If I send any of my boys, they're gonna know they're my boys a mile off. I mean, I could, I could, I, look, we could look like we fit in. Come on, let's not, don't undersell us. He says, yeah, yeah, you're fitting with these guys. They're like you, they're quite loads. But not my guys. My guys, they won't fit in. You know what I mean? No. I Quite frankly, I don't. What language does Rick speak? Well, he does He does speak uh, Mandarin. Well, Guaylo is Cantonese. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I'm checking now. Uh, Cantonese and Russian. Oh, Which okay. Yeah, Guaylo. Guaylo. <laughs> it's like a, it's like slang for a, a, a non-Chinese person. Fair enough. I don't see what his problem is, guys. It's derogatory, but like, that's your friend. 
I mean, yeah. So he's I mean, fair like, enough. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> if he probably just means cool dude. Yeah, he hasn't steered us wrong so far. No. He says, yeah, they're going to spot my guys coming a mile off. You guys will fit in perfectly. All right, so is this kill everyone, snatch and grab, what are we dealing with? Yes. It says, <laughs> all three. Kill everyone. Right. They got themselves some expensive stuff in there. He says, I don't know exactly what it is, but I heard that they got stuff worth, oh, he says, maybe 75,000 one longs, right? That's a pretty woo long. Yeah, he says, now I want those longs. I mean, who doesn't? I know what you're thinking. The maths is off. I'm paying I you guys two hundred thousand. But I appreciate you thinking. Grab that. something that's worth seventy-five. He says now. I'm paying you two hundred thousand to send a message. As you leave, I want you to spray over it. Washington Street Boys everywhere. Over every cops, spray paint Washington Street Boys. Do I? Do we have street? Do we have spray can proficiency? He says I can give you spray cans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just I was I was a bit worried. I wouldn't know where to get them. <laughs> to use that office life, you know. Don't just get many of those at the office. It's fine. We hit up the staples beforehand. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Which is it's just an entire mall. Yep. <laughs> All right. When do we have to hit him? Uh, six a.m. tomorrow morning. Ooh. He says, now, that's when there's the most people there. I've had my guys watching this place for weeks. 6 a.m. is when they're changing the guard shift so everyone's there. Take them all out. We could do that. We're pretty familiar with the uh, the business end of a gun. Am I right, fellas? Hell yeah, and I just start unloading a <laughs> clip in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> no one... Everyone kind of, whoa, sh jumps at the first <laughs> shot and then just carries on dancing and chatting yes. while the rest of them go because they're like, oh, Can we say hello? <laughs> Can we just do a little socialise before we uh, head, up, head, head to bed? Yes. I think I'm going to head... Are there any uh, surviving Stathams around? No, you, uh, you blew I them all up. I did kill them all. You killed them but all. I did <laughs> kill them all. But what about the drone that was there? <laughs> Can we invite him? I don't think we He's killed him. He's having a Are all the people we've invited just from the month we've met because we've basically killed everyone else we've met? <laughs> yeah, well, Jack's here. <laughs> There's one guy who sold a rat that one time. It's Jack who's a gang leader uh, in Chinatown. And then We're like so desperate for like, people we've just, invited, like the like, estate agent that sold us the place. Just be like, like 50, come on down! 50 homeless guys and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Rick knows a lot of people. That's the only thing he's really good for, is he knows a lot of people. Yeah, no, Weird people. There are quite a lot of people here. There are quite a lot of people here. Uh, there's no Statham. She killed them all. The drone I forgot. is automated, so he didn't come. He's still patrolling <sighs> the same area. I did send him that email, though, so... Mm -hmm. It probably got sent to his junk folder, but, you know. What about that one lady from the school? Did she come? Did we email her? <laughs> uh, I don't think you... Uh, did you? Yeah, yeah, she's there. She's there. She's there. Man, nice. Didn't think she she'd make it, but... She is wasted. Absolutely. <laughs> she's wasted. I'm just Tell nudging Rick, just be like, there. go for it, man. <laughs> no, I have a wife. Come on. <laughs> it's sure is wife number two, but like... A pregnant wife. Yeah, pregnant <laughs> wife. There do's, you know. there do's. And then we go with Pulse, because we both have a weakness for cheap booze and wine, so we're pretty much getting hammered in the morning at this point. Absolutely wasted. Absolutely I'm gonna, wasted. I think Rick's had a few to drink, too. <laughs> As we all know, he's a massive lightweight, because mm. he doesn't get to ever finish his meals, because he keeps getting interrupted. Yeah. One apple teeny, boom. You guys were eating dinner. Uh, <laughs> you know... Just before the party was meant to start. Jack yeah, arrived inst early. Instant Stop, ramen. Interrupted you. <laughs> hey, shh, shh. My brother, Brian, the prick wankster. <laughs> don't tell him, don't tell him. Why has he got a different surname? <laughs> he's because he's a wanker. 
<laughs> right, so he's at my house and he's looking after my house while I'm here on holiday. <laughs> um, Jack says, What? Why can't your wife look after your house? It's because she's surprised she's pregnant. Oh, uh, it says, So your uh, brother's big pregnant. with your wife. Yeah. House, but you're here in San Francisco. He's we've got we've got to be used to this. When he gets to a certain level, he's gonna go at the wife again. All right, Rick. He's a big time Rick for bed. <laughs> this is Rick. Fuck Rick. him. Rick, I don't mean to be rude, but yeah. aren't you cybernetic from the waist down? Oh shit! I'm holding Look, back, Rick. I'm holding back, Rick. <laughs> just because it's it's very rude. Don't ask a man. You've not seen my penis. <laughs> Say, whoa! Like, I wasn't saying anything like that. Just whoa, 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 whoa. Leave it out, Rick. Leave it out. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm like, turn to chow. I'm like, so sorry. He's like, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get going. Uh, i got a few more parties to pop into. Uh, All right, mate. Love you. Sure, sure. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, how do... When we're done with the job, we come back to you or you come back to us? You know, what's oh, the deal? Come to us. Come to me. Come to me. You got it, baby. As you know the place, Rebus, where you dropped off the, uh, the stolen booze. Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, that was good times. Yeah. Right. Was. Uh, he, he does a full spin all the way around. <laughs> and then walks out. Damn. And now, it's, that, now it's just the woman from the school. <laughs> oh, hello, the homeless guy. Man, what a party. <laughs> God, that guy's got style. He's so cool. <laughs> Jack really the only question is, cool. is, is someone really... has someone been taken out yet? Uh, you kind of scan the area. Let's make a perception check. You're drunk, so right. disadvantage. Oh, come on, I got constitution for days. Yeah. <laughs> That's a six. Yeah, mine's a six too. <laughs> Is one guy giving me a really dirty look? Yeah, there is a guy giving you a really dirty look. He's laid on the sofa. He's just been staring at you for ages without blinking. <laughs> I'm just like going, what? What, you got something to say? He's just still staring you down. Ah, oh, smart guy, eh? And I'm literally going to take him by the scruff and just lift him up. You lift him up and you notice he's been stabbed multiple times in the stomach. Ah. Oh. Well, happens I literally just drop him. Like, yeah, he's let dead. him crumple on the floor. He's dead. Hey, that's one down. <laughs> I'm just telling you, like, could be any one of you now. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's head to somewhere else. <laughs> just leave me your apartment. <laughs> yeah, but let's let's go look. Let's go for a walk. I want to look at the sky. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Okay, let's fast track. Or go to sleep. Let's fast track back <laughs> to us waking up on the floor. You're waking up. <laughs> Shall we roll to see if we're in our own vomit? You wake up, and let's get perception checks from everyone. So disadvantage, or...? No, no. no you're awake now, and you're sober-ish. It's like five hours later. 19. Pulse. 11. 17. Alright, uh, all of you notice you're not in your apartment. <laughs> Is it a better apartment? No, it's much worse. Ah, oh, shit, man. Can we roll to see if we have all of our organs? <laughs> yeah, you do. You have all of your organs. None of you have any new tattoos. Uh, oh hey, Echo Ghost, thanks for following. 419, that's one away from 420, brother. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, 419. That's close. <laughs> it's close. It's close. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Echo Ghost 420 was probably taken. <laughs> so, we're in an apartment we don't recognize. No, it's a it's a dump. It is a dump. It's horrible. Can we pull a hangover and try and see if we can remember what happened last? Yeah, with your perception rolls, that'd be part of that. Uh, you don't remember at all, but this is not your apartment. Uh, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone here 
aside from you guys, the door has been broken in. Like, you've clearly kicked the door in. Gone to sleep here. <laughs> but, like, this isn't <laughs> where you live. <laughs> I rolled a 19, so I probably have some bit of a scooby of what's going on. Yeah. Again, you've uh, broken into someone else's apartment. Slept here. You don't know Why? where they are. <laughs> Why though? I mean, I go into the kitchen and check the fridge. I mean, I want something is... to be able to help him with. Empty. Grievous. Motherfuckers. All right, we're getting the hell like out of this. It was ransacked the night before. <laughs> Do I like wipe my face and just put <laughs> crumbs everywhere? Yeah, you got crumbs, ketchup, uh, synthetic crumbs. <laughs> Damn you, pasty! Always on the, the side, good stuff. On the counter, there's a, there's a, uh, some ramen. Like an instant ramen that's just someone's taking a bite out of before cooking it and then just put it back down. Oh, snap. I'm going straight back for it. <laughs> yeah, it, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up right where I left off. <laughs> yeah, so you have your instant ramen before cooking it. Uh, it's not very nice. At this point, most of my taste buds have been burnt off from all the bloom light I've probably consumed, so I really don't mind. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, you check your clock, 10 to 6. <laughs> like, mouth go, full go, of go. round, like, oh shit, we gotta go! <laughs> we still got all our gear, right? Still got all your gear. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Jonathan Frake Senior's uh, uh, job, or Jack Chow's job? Which one's closer? Well, you're checking your map. You are yeah. in the building. Jack Chow wanted you to. <laughs> hey oh, guys, I, I, I'm going to say like, how about we just check that out? You know, <laughs> fellas, let's do it. Let's yeah. kill some people. I'm going like, to like, 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 put my hand on post. Like, post. You, you got anything? You know, I'm I'm just, I'm dragon. I'm dragon man. <laughs> so you know, in my house trying out. to have like another <laughs> bottle in there for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> instead of, of, the dog, instead I of like medicine, it. yeah. Instead of medicine, you just uh, you give him more alcohol. <laughs> it is medicine. <laughs> it helps. It helps. <laughs> I'm just sharing it out with everyone. Hell yeah, uh, guys. Oh, we are, by the way, 14 followers away on Twitter from 2185 followers on Twitter. So. Well, time for me to unfollow you then, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's too many. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do we with the power? We down, everyone. Stop. Let's get under 2,000. 2, Let's keep it under 2,000 people. 2,000 is far too many and should be stopped. <laughs> it's too damn high, which is a nice throwback meme for everyone. That's right, yeah, that is back in the day. Uh, yeah. So you check, and you are on floor 40. Well, we only have to get to 50 second, don't we, fellas? Shall we look for some stairs? It's like, I've got the booze sweat, so, you know, let's take an elevator, because I cannot be dealing with, like, a few flights of stairs right now. You notice, when kind of doing your overall checks, that you have um, blood on your edged weapons, you are missing bullets, uh, and um, Remus, you actually appear to have uh, what looks like a recent wound that has been healed up uh, with, with nanotech. Oh, snap! That's a Tuesday <laughs> night then, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is really weird, because it's a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> we like to laugh, don't we? It's true. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. check to see, make sure I've got anything else, like, I don't know, girl's number, or if I've got, like, a missing ear, you know, what what have I got on my... There is a man's hand in your bag. <laughs> Whoa! It has a tattoo on it of a devil. <laughs> you know, that's pretty rad. I can see why I took this. It is pretty cool. Any other distinguishing factors? <laughs> Aside from it's a severed hand in your bag with a tattoo on it, no. <laughs> right or left? The right hand. Uh, there well, also seems right, to then. be a pistol, KHMA heavy pistol, in the bag as well. 
God damn, what the hell was I doing last night? <laughs> this isn't yours. This gun isn't biolocked to you. You try it, you can't use it. I'm gonna try it with the hand. Oh, it fires. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Second hand gun! Hey! <laughs> Alright, let's get in the elevator. <laughs> you hop in the elevator. All the way out to 52. No issues. You walk out into a corridor that is just full of kind of smoky haze. It smells sort of like a mix of crush and incense. Oh, nice. You Yummy. Hear just this kind of bass thumping. <laughs> Wait, what time is it now? 6 a.m. Alright, fair enough. Who? Wait, where are we? We're climbing this. You just got out the elevator on the 52nd okay. floor. Okay. Just uh, my thing went out for a minute there. <laughs> I was a bit like. Is, is there anything more distinguishing on the hand? Like, is there a ring or like a. There's nothing more distinguishing. Vein? There's not much distinguishing on individual people's hands. Skull <laughs> tattoo is pretty distinguishing <laughs> compared to the average hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna like bend back the fingers and just have like the extended finger at pulse and be like, ha <laughs> ha. So, shall we use that hand to knock, seeing as we're using it for before the rigor mortis sets in, you know what I mean? I'm like, just up the way, I'm like pretending to do like an elaborate, like sort of handshake slap, just like slap, slap. Hand, hand. Well, actually, the outside bye -bye. of the apartment, the, uh, Hendrix Lounge is rather unremarkable. The hallway is just covered in graffiti. The door just says in it, Hendrix Lounge. Two men, white guys, uh, they seem to be speaking Russian. Do any of you speak Russian? Hell yeah, your boy does. Yeah, they're speaking Russian. They're chatting to each other wearing uh, rather smart clothes, actually. Yeah, for uh, shirts and dress trousers and vests and do I catch what they're uh, saying? They appear to be talking about the kind of change in guard. One of them is taking over from the other one. The other one can't wait to get home. Uh, oh man, well. They Do they refer to each other by name? Yeah, Victor and Victor. Victor and Victor, nice. They haven't noticed you yet. I'm going to be right back. Uh... Decide what you want to do and how you want to approach this between yourselves. Okay, Victor and Victor, huh? Yeah, there's a silent cue think... in one of them. Uh, what about an umlaut? I mean, they both have umlauts, so... We enjoy umlauts a lot here mm. at, uh, <laughs> here in the stream. Rick does, at least. He does love an umlaut. He loves an umlaut. Can't he get loves enough. It. Brian, Ian, scuba doo -dee really enjoyed umlauts. <laughs> He's there was at dead least now. three in the name, which was there really was. troublesome. Yeah, you never know what country you're in, you know. <laughs> Alright. Until you hear I, the name aloud. I speak Russian. Pulse, you got anything language-wise? Not Russian. <laughs> Rick, you Not got anything? Everything else. Everything else except Russian. Good as, now as I wish I'd take all the bases. Cantonese. Mm. Alright, so... I guess I'm going to have to try and say we're covering for him. And then, do we just let him go, or do we gun him in the back? I think it's time for us to assume secret identities once again, because we all know <laughs> that's what we like to do. I mean, Rick Lux, a secret identity, it's true. I mean, I think he's kind of secretly saving up for the augment where he can wear new clothes, if I'm honest. <laughs> It just seems like the kind of dick waggling thing he would do, you know, pardon the expression. <laughs> to Rick. I feel sorry for him, poor boy. But, <laughs> that um, poor, poor boy. That poor boy. So now, he. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys want to do? Are we going to mm. also be victors? New victors for the team? We love two victors that can't speak Russian, but. <laughs> You know what? We're face Fine. victors. We only need a yeah. one. What about I move my mouth and you do the talking behind me, <laughs> and then we can convince them I'm some kind of hologram or something? It'd be sick. <laughs> I mean, it's a good plan. <laughs> Few flaws. Is it? Is Few... It <laughs> <laughs> Few things. 
<laughs> Just a few. You know. No, I'm going no. with your plan. I don't. Not to take it down. <laughs> Victor and Victor 10 elements got the spelling perfect. Yep. Not enough umlauts, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> Just this once. After that point, it will be a, a punishable offense. It's true. You'll be in umlaut of trouble. Well, <laughs> you know, like like tables around the bath, badum tish. In Germany, <laughs> that's a German joke, though I may have said it wrong. Possibly. <laughs> that, I mean, you must have said it wrong because that means nothing. Uh... <laughs> no, bada like bath, um, as in like next to or around. I can't remember. And tish is a table. <laughs> Um, Badum Tish. Everyone actually, loves a language joke. I mean, yeah. We love a language joke. <laughs> Why are you assuming we all speak German? I don't know. I felt left out. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So the elevator doors open. Do they look at us, or are they just pretty nonchalant about the whole? Yeah, they're just chatting to each other. All right. I guess we approach them. Uh. They say in Russian. ID. <laughs> we kind of look over like... The fuck? Victor? Victor? Is Yuri? I'm covering for you? In Russian <laughs> I'm saying all this. <laughs> nice. I like, the, I like the accent. Yeah. I mean, it comes with the language. Now you're kind of making me feel like I should do an accent. <laughs> Go on, play into it. You know, lean, lean, uh, go Victor, on. <laughs> Victor says, uh... Now you have to give them distinct... Yuri! Accents. Yuri! <laughs> Yuri! Why are you, uh... It's... Why are you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, God. What? <laughs> what? What? Who is, uh... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it says... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know any Yuris. Victor? This is how you fucking do me? The other Victor says, I don't know any Yuri's either. Oh, Victor, I can't believe you too! Neither oh. can I! <laughs> they both kind of, uh. kind of put their hands on their guns. They got some kind of 21st century pistols. Uh, and they're like, maybe you guys should leave. Listen, boss wants to see us. You really want to be fucking telling him that you're not letting Yuri into the establishment. Yeah, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. <laughs> make a make a make a uh, intimidation check. Oh, that's like the one thing I have going for me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. twenty-three. I like flex a little bit, and my <laughs> the veins in my neck are just like. <sniffs> and the other Victor says to him, "You know, Victor, I think we should uh, let him in. Let him in." That's right, Victor. You listen to Victor. He was always the smarter Victor out of two of you. <laughs> Victor with a with a with a Q. I know. <laughs> uh, and they <laughs> open the door. Into a uh, grimy, poorly lit hallway. Uh, you have two doors leading off of it. One to the right, one to the left. Sat in between them is a man asleep, holding a shotgun. Uh, and he says, "No, he says, don't go in the right door." He says, "Oh, oh you're gonna have a blast." Uh, and then they both laugh and just close the door behind you. <laughs> I'm just gonna lead to Pulse and like, can we lock that door? Yeah, lock yourselves in, that's a bright idea. Hey, there's windows. What floor are you on? <laughs> on the 52nd floor. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of floors between Man. us and them. <laughs> Man, like, I can't believe I changed that right before this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> what was. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> With the stop, you can just jump out windows. Oh, were you a stuntman? All I the windows. Yeah, stuntman. And it's like jumping and 
like smashing through glass as well i think and i'm like <laughs> everywhere is glass and everywhere is windows there's a four i was standing in the middle of the wasteland like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so rick uh the brick was previously a stunt man subclass for the scoundrel in which you get uh bonuses and kind of stuff for jumping out of windows um and you actually take half damage i think it is from jumping out of a window yeah and i think you get um x you do you get you take uh you give more damage if you're jumping yeah if you're or leaping, smashing through glass or, yeah, or jumping yeah through glass it was a max pain inspired i mean i reckon <laughs> you'd still die at 52 floors high but you know <laughs> It, you would, know what? it would only be like 20, <laughs> 26 floors. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like it'd be like just dying slightly slower. Yeah, which is really too high. Yeah, I think so. Which is a uh, whoops. So yeah, what do you guys? Uh, I believe Rebus wanted to lock you guys in here. Is this an option for you guys? What do you reckon? I think fellas. Let's just, if we can, let's just do it. Because these guys seem a bit cool. They seem a bit badass. And so we all know we're... I mean, I don't know how many more people are here. I don't know whether that's a good plan or not. What do we think? You're let's the... Lock, us, lock ourselves in, why not? <laughs> it's an escape room. One of those ancient things. But we need to get out, we just bash through the door. True. I've got a bat. I mean, you lock it, you can unlock it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. We have to kill these people anyway. Why not? It's true. Or not, I don't know. Who pays this bet? I mean, uh, I'm still nursing that uh, alcohol that Pulse gave me just to, you know, <laughs> level myself out. So, Burrell, guys, let's lock this door. Does anyone know how to do that? Pulse. Well, I can unlock a door, so presumably I can also lock a door. You can, uh, you can certainly try. Come on, sure. Pulse. Come on for us. <laughs> Am I going to fail mechanics roll on this? I got a. Uh, oh, this would 23. actually be a security roll. Oh, security roll. Oof. You're using a a a, a pin uh, number pad. Come on. Then 18 plus, what my modifier for that be? Tech? Yes, tech. Uh, yeah, proficiency so... if you have it. No proficient. Is engineering or security? Security. Security's not on the scout sheet. Is it not? No. Is that something I removed? We have engineering be. and hacking. Hacking, then. Yeah, okay, then it's just 21. Just, just 21. Just 21. <laughs> it locks. Just a casual. It locks. You override the uh, current pin code. And um, locks. Nice, nice, nice. Let me take a note to add that back. <laughs> Future reference. All right. I have an so idea one... desk, so I can just write straight on the desk and pencil. It's really cool. Hey! <laughs> so we just have one guy... Fast asleep on the couch down the corridor. I, is that yeah. like a stool rather than a couch? It's uh, just a massive doorway. I met a guy in a hotel bar once who told me that a, a rubber doorway was more secure than Fort Knox. They do recommend you bring them if you stay at hostels. Because mm. then at least they're trying, you could probably get woken up. Not yeah, <laughs> that's true, but like. They don't recommend you, you bring them to Fort Knox. How do you know Fort Knox doesn't have rubber door stops? <laughs> yeah. Just everywhere. <laughs> so I keep them in. Yeah. I mean, if someone if someone gave you a calculator in the shape of Fort Knox, it would be the fort that counts. <laughs> Can I shut a brick out the window? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't when you get to one. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> All right, Damn okay, so we need, we need to sneak up on this, uh, well, Those of you who salary. have the character sheet, by the way, the, the quick start guide can find an illustration of Rick the Brick Baxter on page, uh, I believe it's page seven. 
Uh, let me check. Page 8. So go ahead and go on to page 8 and you get an actual... That's an actual illustration of Rick the Brick. As per uh, descriptions from the screen. Permanently <laughs> immortalized. Yeah. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks cooler than I imagined, right? <laughs> Where? Wait. Page I think my 8 up. of the Quick Start Guide, which I don't know if you've got. Is he in there? Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> he's... Uh, it's literally the second illustration in there, I think. I mean, start as you... Yeah, um... <laughs> I don't think any of you players have got the quick start guide, right? Because you've got the playtest, more comprehensive. Yeah, we do. No, but yeah, you should download it anyway, because it's got Rick in it. <laughs> I mean, I will, and I'll frame it. I mean, I'll download two, just for Rick. I mean, double the Rick for no money. Yeah, Rick's in the part of creating characters. So go ahead and check that out. That's Rick. Goose Milk, I think, is doing a great job with Rick's hair. Very close to life. Very I mean, I can't quite get the three because I don't have short hair. But no. I, it's very I close. Live. But yeah, you guys are now locked in the uh, Hendrix Lounge with the Russian gangsters who owe Jack money. That's right. That's right. Okay. And they said, don't go into the right. Is that correct? Otherwise, it would be a blast. All right. And they said that in Russian, I'm assuming. Yeah, he said it would be a blast. All right, I'm going to let oh, know. He actually said a pun that would work in Russian, but along those lines. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him know, like, all right, right is a no-go. All right. So there, is there a door to the left? Yeah, there is. One to the left, one to the right. Hmm. And there's the sleeping guy, right? Yeah, well, he said not to go to, to the right. Shotgun. All right, we can either take this guy out or we can go to the left. Although I'm really interested in what is in the right, because they said it would be a blast, so I imagine it'd be fun. It does sound pretty fun. It does sound fun. But I don't want to die, though. I don't know. It might be the hangover talking at this point. I mean, with the hangover, yes. But in general, my self-preservation is still here because I'm a pretty cool dude. And I don't want to, you know... <laughs> subject the world to my loss, to my absence, you know? I mean, that's fair enough. You know, yeah, I can't exactly. really argue with that. I thought you were going to argue with me there, and I was going to get very upset. <laughs> I would, right. but I'm very hungover at this point. <laughs> right, so, let's... If we if we shoot him, everyone will hear us. So we either kind of have to kind of garrot him or something. I mean, I could put him in, like, like, a chokehold or something like that, you know? I mean, yeah, you'd have to... You'd have particularly to... Tough. Um, yeah, but looks, you know, you never know with robot parts. He actually hasn't got any uh, augmentations beyond, any visible augmentations beyond just the kind of uh, the the uh, mirror link that everyone has. All right. So plan is either we go through the left door, or I beat him to death with the stool he's sitting up. We sneak up behind him. Don't you guys have we... knives? Uh, axes and the sword. I have a uh, phase shift sword. Yeah, we got options. I've just got a baton. Rick's faithful baton. Nice. For like in, uh, like Doctor in the, the Neuromans. Yes. Like in Doctor Who, yeah. I remember Rick, yeah. well, I yeah, remember like... Rick in that episode. Well, I remember him in Neuromancer too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, two could play that game. But he was Neuro... an unconventional companion, really. <laughs> in Neuromancer, the guy, the main character, uses a baton as his weapon, and that's a cyberpunk book. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, Rick, totally in that. Well, <laughs> he is in the background somewhere, but yeah, he might be. That might take place in the Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five universe. You don't know. Who can we say? I mean, I can. And I'm not going to say that because that would get me sued. What can we hear coming from either door? Pitbull. The door on the left, you can hear pounding music. It's it's uh, Pitbull, uh, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to that door. That's a no-go. <laughs> the, door, the, door, the door on the right, complete silence. Hmm. Actually, it's just changed from Pitbull to the Fast and Furious 95 soundtrack. Fucking, this is my jam! Playing my jam, let's go! Okay, but we do have to kill this guy first. It's unfortunate, but it has to be done. 
Look, we just have to do it. I'm sorry. Well, this is in harsh tones, of course. Actually, it's through our little Neuralink boy, which I haven't drawn on today, so I just guess I'm just gonna. You have one. Pulse. <laughs> you got any good like sedatives? You know, there something you can OD him on, or that's, that's pretty accurate. No. No. <laughs> Pulse right, is quite well. the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. You know I have what? expertise in medicine. Doesn't mean I have medicine. <laughs> It's That's actually true. exactly we probably... what it says. I believe in the class description it says that you have kind of a medical implant, but it doesn't necessarily mean you are a trained doctor. <laughs> I, I can think... do healing. That's it. <laughs> I think we should um, just go up behind him and stab him in the neck. It's a bit quieter, isn't it? And then I think we could probably get away with it too. We're quite sneaky. We're, we're not exactly the most obnoxious people in the world, are we now? Isn't Rebus carrying a minigun? E I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was noisy though, isn't it? It's, I mean, I wasn't going to use the minigun. In a corridor, it's loud. <laughs> that would be so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I have a headache and I know that it's just going to havoc on it. So if we could do it quiet for the time being, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so can we roll, I don't know, my stealth is terrible. Not stealth. All right, you actually, Rick, you, yeah. you take the weapon stuff. from him, and and I'll send him off to Dreamland. Okay, sick. Right, so, shall we roll for that? <laughs> Stealth check, both of you. Stealth check, sick. And then I'm going to need an attack roll from Rebus. Oh, woof. She can still miss. I can still miss. Uh, I'll oh, snap. I've got, uh, I'm wearing a... Standard ballistic vest, which gives me disadvantage on stealth. Uh, oh, that's not terrible. Uh, plus the... 15? 15 is and enough. I'm... He stays asleep. I'm... I'm 13, <laughs> so I don't think that's gonna... What I think was that's yours, gonna... Rick? 13. Oh, that's fine. DC 12. Oh, sick. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> All right, so you slip the shotgun out of his hand, and then I very slowly line my arms around his neck to send him off into the dream land. I didn't make a, uh, uh, I don't even know what kind of check that would be. Attack, I guess? A attack, make an attack, attack roll. Against... Make an attack roll. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm getting, what, strength plus proficiency? Uh, 16? It's enough. It's it hits. Enough. It hits. <laughs> it hits. He's going to attempt it. This is kind of a grapple. Yeah, I'm put, I put my hand over his mouth and look. <laughs> he got 13 on his strength check, so let's make a contested strength check. Oh, strength. Just strength, no athletics or anything? Nope. That was 14. 13. You win. You kind of knock him out. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I was like, sorry. Shh, shh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. He thought... It's like Jeff the Killer. Yeah, you knocked him out. You knocked him out. He is alive, but he is unconscious. <laughs> I whisper in his ear, Does for Danya, and slowly just set him down. <laughs> nice. Go men. Yeah. Go All men, right. son. Is there, a, is there like a closet or something we could just like throw him in. Not in the hallway, no. I mean, like, I assume we've had to get into the room to obviously get to him. Yeah, you're in, you're in the hallway uh, with an unconscious big, burly Russian dude now. Alright, I'm just slinging him over my shoulder at this point and we'll just <laughs> carry him off somewhere. Is he on meat shield now? I mean, he can be. and that is. He could be a drunk guy. And it's we true. Carrying him. I'm going to check his ID, see if I can get his name. Victor. Victor as well! With two <laughs> R's. Yeah, his name is Victor. Uh, it's, it's a good, strong name. <laughs> Doesn't even have a V in it, but you know. Yeah, it's it's Victor with a W. <laughs> it's Victor with two V's, which also makes a W, because that's old English. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 written in old English. <laughs> Wubba Wichter. Wubba Wichter. Don't, it brings back to Homestuck days. You can't do that to me. <laughs> I can't invoke Homestuck. That's, that's, that's a hate crime. 
Is it? <laughs> Let's say it so, isn't and we... move on from there. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. let's go. Okay, where are, where are you going? Uh, so we're getting the Fast and Furious soundtrack from the door to the left. What is further down the hallway? Nothing. It's just the end of the hallway. You go right or left. All right, let's Scooby do this round the corner and check what's right and left. No, no, there's no corners. This is the, there's a door on the left and there's a door on the right. Oh, so there's two other left and right doors. No. <laughs> there's just two doors. There's just two doors. Oh, I see. So there's two doors, and then he's just literally at the end of the corridor. I see. Yes. Extending past the corridor. Yes. All right. Well, I guess it's door to the left, then. Um. Anyone else? I or... don't really know what uh, what's going on in the chat there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, move. The anarchy is set in. Can't ignore, ignore the chat. It has, it has. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, I've started what something I cannot stop. It's not in my power. Yes. Uh... Okay. Okay, let's get back to it then. Yes. You go into the left door. The Fast and Furious soundtrack. Fast and Furious 95, the one with... Uh... It's called the one with Genghis Khan. Yeah. Clone. Because as we all know, 97 is the one with the boobies. That was... Yeah. Yes. The it was, one with the it was a major hit. It was revitalizing for the whole franchise. But this one's good too. We like this one. This one's popular. This one is mm. popular. Um, I think I had toys of this one. Door to the left. Uh, sorry, the door... Am I reading the right thing? Only you can tell. The door to the right is the big, ex the big, no, I assume, explosion or something. And the one to the... Is the last room. And then you have the one on the left. Three people is... are sat along one side of the table in this kitchen and dining area. The smell of oh. fresh, cheap ramen. Hangs in the air. Fast and Furious 95 soundtrack blasts from speakers in the walls. There is one other door out of this room. It appears to be a fortified uh, vault door. Well, that sounds like fun. Uh, the woman, the three, two men and one woman, the woman says, What are you doing with Victor? <laughs> Victor? God, he had too much. Take him down to lie down. We take over a shift. Because that is... That is so Victor. Says, Who are you guys? <laughs> I'm Yuri. This is Yuri. <laughs> and Yuri. Yes. I mean, da. Says... Anton, Anton, take, take Victor. <laughs> and they I both get like, up I... and uh, <laughs> they grab, uh, they grab uh, Victor. I'm like, whoa, whoa, easy, you know, he's he's delicate package. And he says, well, I don't want to hear about his package. <laughs> hey, oh, classic Anton. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see some ID. What? Victor and Victor took our IDs. You want to see ID as well? Says, yeah, I don't trust you. <laughs> Go talk to them. They are holding on IDs. Make a deception check. I'll name my strong suit. <laughs> oh god, if it was me, I'd be fu we'd be fine. But I'm sitting here like. Yeah, you don't speak Russian. I was nodding mm. along. Deception. That's a 19. Oof. I rolled an 18. I did pretty well. So, um, okay. 
I'm so hungover, I believe myself. She gets up, leaves the room. She's gonna go down the corridor and out the door that you've locked shut. <laughs> Pulse, oh no. lock this door as well. Shall we just put stab her in the back and then just keep sending people out there? <laughs> Yeah, I've, it's full from flying. We just keep locking ourselves in. I'm gonna give you six seconds to decide what to do as she's walking out into the corridor. Okay. All right. Option one: we lock the door and we have to contend with two guys in this room, or we kill her in the corridor and then maybe kill the other two just by circumstance. Well, we have to kill them all anyway. That's the job. That was the plan, that is true. So I'm thinking that job. is... Yeah. Okay, you guys have had that way more than six seconds. What do you do? Goose, uh, Goose Milk as Rick, what do you do right now? The woman's walking past you. Where, where is she, sorry? She's walking past you, out into the She's corridor. She's walking past me. Um, Then I'm I'm going to kick the back of her knee. Let's get initiatives. Go time. Two. <laughs> okay, the Russians got twenty. <laughs> well, well, you know they're Russians. They Rick, all know typical each other. Russians. Rick got two. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Pulse. Mm -hmm. Nineteen. Nineteen, and finally our man of the hour, Rebus. Eleven. Okay, well, Rick, this is a surprise round, so you go first. Yep. So I, if that was that was not obviously an actual fight move. It's just to get her on the ground, so we can more easily shoot her in the head. Yeah, that would count as a shove. Uh, yeah. Which is a contested strength versus her athletics. Okay. Uh, athletics Brill. or strength or acrobatics check. Uh, yes, I will do that. Natural twenty. Woo! Uh, so yeah, that was not that was a nat um sorry, plus what strength? Eleven uh, twenty one. She falls over. <laughs> she's yeah. And then when she's there, I'll get my gun. <laughs> my uh my my nice assault rifle. Yes. And I'll get her for two um I'll try and hit her for two D eight. Now, normally, the trip alone would count as a attack. Oh. But I will let you have this as well. Okay, thank you. So I'll do the I'll do the two d eight. Such that's, a generous game master. That's twelve, and then because it was a surprise attack, sneak attack. Oh yes. Well, you also 2D6. Um, you have disadvantage so then... because you're taking a ranged attack, and she is prone. She is. Because oh, oh. you just pushed her well, over. <laughs> oh my god. Well, so how, advantage, how you... disadvantage, so it would roll out. So you just do a straight roll. Yes. Okay. I got 19 on my straight roll, and I'll roll it again. That is enough. I got 16. No, that's, so... that's enough. Fair enough. So I'll I'll hit her with a 2d8, which is so extreme. Another 20. You kill her. Uh, you took her up and just kind of spray a load of bullets into her back. Just get, just get me right in the head. Like, Yuri, what are you doing? <laughs> I kind, I kind of go, uh, um, uh, like a mixture of just random Russian-sounding sounds I've heard <laughs> yeah. from the last couple you of minutes. You just say like "niet," <laughs> "niet," blood. "niet da," <laughs> They're like, wait, these are the Russians. <laughs> Dude, fuck you, man! Uh, and the shoot other two guys, people. they both try and shoot Rick, actually. Uh, the first one gets seven plus five. No, plus three. Ten doesn't hit. No way. Nineteen. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. This is the worst part about having a, a box of dice. You just can't find what you want. Yeah. If you often I find... realized that after putting all mine in my uh, new container. Yeah, it's uh, the D4 seem to sink. They'll end up at the bottom. 
So it's 2d4 damage. So a 4 and a 2. So you take 6 points of ballistic damage, Rick, as you get shot uh, <coughs> by one of the Russian men. Ow. Pulse, you're up. Wait, wait. Yep. Uh, the one that just hit Rick, I'm going to attempt to fire my shotgun at. Hmm? Let's give that a go. And that was a an eight. Eight does not hit. You just missed completely. Damn it, Pulse, you're really hungover. You should have had some of this. Rebus. And you walk the walk. Yeah. I mean, I've talked the talk, clearly. Uh, I mean, they're not attacking me. As yet, yeah, they still think of me as an ally, is that right? I think they're pretty sh confident that you're not an ally. But Shit, that, I thought I could play up to, to you, that. It's up to you, uh, whether you... How you feel about that. I Betrayed, honestly. You know, it hurts my feelings. Uh, I'm just going to get into a position where I can literally just... At this point, subtlety has gone out the window. Uh, and I'm just going to spray with the heavy machine gun repeater cannon across both of them. <laughs> Ow. A minigun. <laughs> yep. So you're gonna spray. Uh, what, are the, what is the spray dice for the minigun? What is the normal attack dice? Uh, normal attack dice is 3d10. So it is 2d10. Right. So they have to make uh, saving throws. Uh, what's it's So it's 8 plus your uh, strength plus your proficiency, which comes to... Uh, 13. Okay. So the first one doesn't make it. The second one doesn't make it. So they both take 2d10 now. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Because they attempt to uh, dive out of the way. 6. And an 8, so... That's 14. <laughs> you killed them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just being a bit efficient you today. You just yeah. uh, mini <laughs> They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> well. Mission accomplished, guys. Let's go get a McDonald's breakfast. At this point, you're hearing pounding from the front door. Ha! Victor and Victor. What now? Uh, who's turning, Zach? Well, there's, there's no point to go in turns because you've killed them all. Alright, I'll check uh, what was it, Anton and Anton, see what they've got. Yes. Oh, excuse me. They have, between them, uh, sorry, 201 longs on Anton and 191 longs on Anton. Mm -hmm. And the woman whose name you never took has 6,000 one longs. Well, that's Rick's biz. You know, I'm taking care of Anton. Oh no, have we lost... Have we lost Goose? I'm back. I'm back. My sister came home and I was obviously decided to stream seven things at once in HD, so... Oh, Moana. <laughs> yeah, in 4K. I hope that's I'm the back. best way to watch Moana. It is. Anyway, is what just any... happened? Uh, the woman who you killed has 6,000 one longs on her. Nice. God, More like you, pocket money. Yeah, you and Pulse just rags to riches over here. How's my stream looking, by the way? Because it looks frozen on my end. No, I'm still seeing it going. Oh, okay, so it's just uh, that's just me. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it, it looks, is frozen. It is frozen. There's uh, still voice, but okay. Hopefully that unfreezes soon. Come on, Twitch. We believe in you. Yep, it, yep. Yes. Having issues. Uh oh. Like, uh, whoop, whoops, oops, no. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Uh oh, is right. I hope sound still works. Let's, let's see what the chat has to say about that. Chat, can you hear us? Chat, please. <laughs> Are we frozen? At the skull, does that mean like... we're dead? That was from J Wall. From me, yeah. Oh, fair enough. 
So I if, like... if, I, like, if I unmute, I can still hear it, so... Oh, okay. 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 If Let's I... just operate on the assumption that we are still going. Yes. Rick, the woman has 6,000 one lungs on her. Tasty. Any, I mean, uh, anything, anything nice? Any jewelry or anything? Any jewelry? Uh, no. Aside I'm from... I'm still get a souvenir oh. for the old wife, so don't... You probably... How much did from you drink holiday. last night? Your holiday? <laughs> You've been in months! <laughs> Look, I gave, gave her a call. <laughs> Promised to bring... It didn't, she didn't pick up, but she never does, so... <laughs> so, maybe, maybe a C. Is there anything nice over there? Anything? No? It's fair uh, enough, there's not. I'll keep looking. Maybe I'll go to an actual shop with all this money I'm getting. Hey, I think I <laughs> fixed it. I think I fixed it. Yes, um... <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I wasn't keeping an eye on chat. Uh, okay. Okay. Where do you guys go from here? There was the other door in the corridor, but there's also one... Heavily armored door leading out of this room. Oh, heavily armored door, obviously. Yeah, they've, they've got some good stuff in there. Or some good armor people. Door. Yeah, I'm checking to see if there's like a key card or like. Yeah, there does seem to be a place where you swipe a key card to open it. Uh, is there anything on the uh, Anton's or the uh, uh, lady? The, the woman whose name you never got does have a key card on her. Swipe it, Rick! Swipe it, Rick! Also, I'm finishing off their ramen that they started eating because I am still hanging so bad. There's some blood in it, uh, but yeah, it's eh, fine. I, I swirl it up, you know, add the flavor, you know. Have we lost the... Uh... Oh, I thought we lost goose milk again there. <laughs> I thought I lost me too, but I found me again, so... It, it's Whoa. a journey of self-discovery. Whoa, deep. man, yeah. It's getting a bit deep. Someone, yeah. You've been on some of that 420. Uh... <laughs> Some of the California. <laughs> yep, we. Uh, yeah. It, scan it to open it. Yeah. Rebus. Yes. I mean, I'm eating, you know, instant ramen. I'm leaving that to Rick if she if he's got the key card. Yes, he can do what he wants. Scanning want. things. But opening yeah. the metal door. Do I have the key card? I you may do. have missed that. You do. Okay, then I'll use that then. <laughs> okay, you scan it and the door slowly creaks open, <laughs> revealing a dark room lit by only a few dim, multicolored fluorescent lights. Uh, within are two very slim, heavily tattooed people. Uh, these guys are wearing pinstripe suits done up to the, done up to the nines. Uh, they seem to be working on a humanoid combat mech. Uh, the, while it isn't gold-plated, it's being painted to almost look like one of the high-end gold-plated security droids that you see sometimes in District 1. So I'm seeing Pulse and Rick obviously opening the door while I'm like behind the couch eating like <laughs> the inter around like mouthful of like, anything good? Well, as soon as this happens, these guys are going to want to attack you. So let's get, let's get initiatives there. Boy! They they are instantly gonna know you are not uh of average How do they know that? Fellas, once again it's a two. <laughs> change dice. Just what I just... <laughs> I'm using digital dice today for, for the first time and it was You're actually like... on a one D two roll. <laughs> instead of one D twenty. Pulse, uh, what I did you that... get? Hey, that's pretty high. That means she crits. Seventeen, yeah? Yep. Uh, and Rebus? 13. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Pulse, you go first. Nice. These guys look uh, uh, obviously like they're going to attack you, as does the robot. As does the robot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, the robot's operational? <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna fire out the robot. Smart. Maybe I'll hit for once. <laughs> Maybe. Go believe. Believe, Pulse. Believe. Uh, I got 13. Miss a 
hits the arm and things off. You didn't believe. You didn't believe enough, <laughs> Rebus. <No. laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, I don't see this. Did you? Have they fired anything yet? I've just seen. Yeah, him you try see to fire Pulse the fire a gun. <laughs> so I'm still wolfing down my, you know, blood tainted instant noodles. Like the fuck, guys, it's going down. Time to get my flipping assault rifle out. <sighs> uh, oh, I think they attack first. Is there enough room for me to get in between both uh, Rick and Pulse, or is it a pretty narrow corridor? You can get in there. So I'm just gonna like use the mini gun to sort of just like s separate them, like the parting of the red scene. Just like, pardon me, pardon me. And I'm gonna unload the repeater cannon on whatever's in the room. They all make the saving throw. Fair so they take half damage. Well, that's your opinion, man. You know. Uh, eight. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, Fifteen. And then because I'm focused, I get to add plus two to that. So that's seventeen. Seventeen. The half. Eight. Rounded. <laughs> like, I'm not even looking. I'm just like doing a figure eight in the room. Just like whatever's in there, it's getting dead, you know. Uh, the two people seem somewhat injured, but the robot uh, is doing all right. It's their turn. Uh, the robot immediately pulls, uh, closes the distance actually, grabs Rebus. Uh oh. Uh, well, it doesn't grab him, but punches him. <laughs> Just tenderly oh, we holds. Like things. <laughs> For 21, does 21 hit? Uh, hang on, let me check. Can oh, I do distraction 21. on this? Yes. <laughs> So, um, nine, 19. Yeah, it still hits. It's plus 5. Motherfucker. Uh, so he does 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Right, but I'm focused, so that's halved. Yeah, so 6 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Jesus, alright. And she got punched <sighs> in the face by a robot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ow. The other guys are going. Ow, each ow. one of them is going to take a shot of one of your friends here. One's going to take a shot of Pulse for seventeen, which I think hits. Yep. Uh, it then hits. Three and a three, so six points hit of uh, ballistic damage. Yep, we're checking up three off because I have heavy concealable vest. Awesome. Nice. The other one, uh, Rick, 17, does that hit? Rick? Me? Yes, it does, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if they're like, who? Four points of ballistic damage. Rick? Who? Who is this Rick? I'm only used to Bridie and Skadooby. <laughs> it's who I am now. <laughs> okay, so. There you have it. It is now Brick's turn. Brick the Brick's turn. Rick the Brick. Well, like a ton of bricks, he's going to brick it and grab his assault rifle out. And he's going to hit him with his best shot and fire away. Who, uh, who's he for... shooting? He's going to shoot... How many? Two, there's two, right? Is and the, Is the robot alive now? The robot is very I... much alive, as much as a robot can be. And it is right can you kill a you. robot with a gun? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yes. Guys, can We're getting really <laughs> philosophical about this now. You can, I just need you to can know whether you can destroy the robot gun. with a gun. Yeah. So I'm going to just do a big old spray at him if I can hit him because he seems uh, like a major threat. He is too close to you. He's right up in my grill. You would have to uh, step backwards and then you would also hit Rebus. Well, that's no good. I'm going to have to, I guess, focus on the other two dudes. Maybe one of them's holding a secret remote or something. Obviously, I know that's not true, but, you know, Rick can hope. Yeah, we can Rick believe. Rick doesn't know that. <laughs> he needs to look. He's a big... Look, he worked behind an office. In an office. 
you're behind, behind an office. office. <laughs> that's not that's what you in like an actual office behind the office. You're behind the office. <laughs> like, like what Rick did in the alley every other Tuesday was none it's of between your him in the alley. It's all. between him and Jesus, okay? Robo Jesus. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So I got I got fourteen. I'm not even sure that hits in this tiny room. It does. It does hit. Which one are you shooting? Uh, the one that is easier to hit, whichever one that might be, because I'm not precisely. Matter. Evil one. <laughs> Roll damage. Yes. Okay. There's a man so and a I'll woman. Do... Let's say you shot the man. Yeah. Shoot the man. I I hit eight. Yeah. Take that, man. Uh, yeah, men. Eight points of damage. He has some damage reduction, but it is enough to kill him. Maybe I got your level wrong when cool. I planned this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? No, never. No. I'm gonna include this uh, this kind of mini adventure, by the way, in the next version of the Quick Start. People can play along, do a better job. I hope. Uh, yeah. So you kill this guy. You kill one of them. Up next oh. is Pulse. So, I can't really use the shotgun from this range, can I? You're about 15 feet from them. But I'll presumably have a chance of hitting them. What's the range on the shotgun? Uh, 5 to 20. Yeah, you have disadvantage. Yeah. can shoot them. Can I go up to the robot with my face shift sword instead? Yes. That'll work. Yes, okay, you are within no. melee range, range of him. I'll do that, and probably miss. <laughs> no, believe! Guess... You didn't believe right. previously, believe, now I'm you need believe to believe. Him. I believe him. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna you hit. You believe you'll hit him with guns? It's a and sword! Got, uh, 18. <laughs> 18 hits! Yes! It hits. Believe! Okay. I am using it with two hands. It's a versatile weapon. So it's a 1d10. 1d10 plus and your I... uh, strength or dexterity. Oh, strength. Sorry. Is it? Strength. Plus your strength. Is it? Yes, it's a melee weapon. I don't remember seeing that. Okay, thank you for telling me. <laughs> uh, in which case, it's also plus one because I have something else I can't find now. <laughs> something else Something else gives me plus one damage. Uh, recoil reduction. Yes. You have a cybernetic yeah. arm that really does help with a lot. And I'm just going to use my precision aiming, finally, to uh, make it so I don't need to roll. Okay, so he takes... And it'll just do max. So it'll be 13 damage. Damn! You deal some serious damage with your phase shift sword, uh, slicing this robot open. He is, uh, he looks like he's on his last legs. Snap! Like his, uh, he looks really, really, really rough. Rebus, you're up. You're gonna still kill here. Get, <laughs> get the XP. That's what, that's what Rebus does. Uh, so he's literally right in front of me, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm literally just gonna point the barrel into his chest, and I'm gonna recklessly attack into him. You have disadvantage because you're within five feet. But reckless attack gives me advantage, so it will be a straight roll. So it all comes down to this. Uh, that is a 17. Hits! By Oof, one. Okay. By one! Oof! <laughs> uh, and since I'm not spreading, is it back to the 3d10? It is a 3d10. Full, uh, full, uh, weapon, whatever. Six, five, nine. Yeah, okay. This is like... 22 damage. You just blast this guy. <laughs> like, Pulse has come through and stabbed through him with the sword, and you've just, where <laughs> you've shot him and just tore his torso in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we roll. That's how uh, we do really things. Very heavy fud on the floor as it kind of dies. Much as a I do like a Tuscan Raider with like the mini gun over my head. <laughs> The final uh, Russian, uh, the woman, well, she's going to try and shoot you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who, though? That's a good question, right? Because you hurt her, 
but everyone is an equal threat. So I think she's going to go for you, Rebus. I mean, that's just, you know, plain stereotypes, but, you know, whatever. Uh, 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. Four and three. Seven points of <laughs> ballistic damage. Rounded to and three because you are uh, focused. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she says, I surrender. <laughs> oh, it's really. <laughs> After I just take a shot in the shoulder and keep standing. <laughs> she surrenders hers. Damn. That is good. Brick. Brick the brick, you are up. Do you accept her, surrender her? I don't know. I can't. I don't understand what she's saying. <laughs> That's true, she did say it in uh, Russian. Did it sound, it sound like... insulting? What does it sound like? Can I make some sound? Make... Say, say, like, banana in the way she said I surrender. I, I, she just said it was very aggressive. Was it like, banana? Yeah. So yeah, then I'm going to have to go for it then. Sorry. I can't understand She's still Russian. holding a gun. She shot your friend and then shouted something in Russian. Exactly, so I'm sorry, lady. She could be I'm calling back up. To, yeah, gonna have to try and hit you with my best shot and fire away. So I'm gonna try and hit her. Mm -hmm. I get eight, so I'm not sure I hit her. I don't think I did. No, you missed. I just kind of go. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Darn. Yeah, pulse. Uh, I will... How far away is she? About 10 feet. Uh, no, 15 so feet, can... sorry. 15 feet. So I can go up to her and melee her. I guess. Yeah, you can close up. Yeah, let's go and do that. Weapons! And I got... Sorry, that's me. Cheers. Who's over a can of uh, blue light? It's raspberry fruit beer. Raspberry? <laughs> Fruit beer, oh my goodness. Yeah. Pulse, what did you uh what did you get to hit? Uh fourteen. Fourteen hits? What's your damage? Damage is six. That is exactly what you needed to kill her. <laughs> you just you just stab her. Just stab her. You guys. Who needs shotguns? Melee weapons Maybe. are actually really good, uh in Carbon twenty one eighty five, but they're often overlooked because everyone's like, I want a gun. I'm normally a big proponent of the baton, but today I think we needed a bit of a heavy hitter. Yeah. And... Yes. So is, is everyone dead then? Or is that robot mm -hmm. still going at it? Robot's dead. Everyone in this oh, half sick. of the apartment are dead. Oh. Uh, you haven't been in the other rooms. Yes, that's a problem. But And there's also the people outside. Who are still banging at the door, I imagine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so There's a long pause me. just to work out. I was, I was thinking, can you hear the door from here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have we turned... it was building. <laughs> yeah, have we turned off the, the soundtrack yet? That's the real question. No, that's still going. What song's I mean, on we now? leave that on. We leave that this on. This is, uh, it's still the Fast and Furious 95 soundtrack. Uh, but what it is right now is a, um, Cyber Synth, which is a future type of music remix of Cha Cha Slide. You can't put that song on and not expect me to do the entire ta dance. That's me, that's me out of character that's, because that's who But that's I am. also Rick. I mean, it is very Rick. <laughs> One thing is transcended. It's like Cha Cha Slide. It's not um. This is something. It's not the Casper Slide Part Two. It's the Casper Slide Part Like Fifty at this point. Mm -hmm. They've made some sequels as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like F one remembers their great grandpa talking about this awesome dance. <laughs> they brought it back. Ca now they have slide at least part one. Two, keep sliding. They have like Strictly Come Dancing, but it's Cha Cha Slide, uh, <laughs> Mama Number but Five. The... 
the versions of Charge Cast Slide are so complex that no one can actually do them yeah, in their entirety. It's, it's, it's like it's you great have to that do they like... brought out music that tells you how to dance to it. Three <laughs> times backflip. <laughs> Three times backflip. Yes. Turn off your augment. Turn on your augment. Turn off your augment. <laughs> dance, dance. Remove your legs. Put on your legs. One that leg actually... off and one leg on. That actually sounds <laughs> exactly around. like I would imagine. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to clap. <laughs> but you have to do it super. Time to clap. You have to do it really, 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 really fast. It's specifically written for people with arm augments. Yeah, the entire the entire song takes about three days in its entirety if you <laughs> listen to the original version. People right, are we're leave... trying to do it. People... <laughs> Sorry, we'll, we'll leave Rick to it. It's fine. You know he Rick's does the thing. He... He needs to power down after this. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull Pulse in just to be like, what the hell's in this room that we've obviously unlocked? See if he can recognize any of the tools. Any of the tools? Alright, well, uh, this room, they are each carrying a nano pack. Hey, restock Pulse. Uh, there's about <laughs> uh, 7,000 one longs worth of tools and gear in here. That you could uh, sell. Well, that's how much you would sell it for. It's obviously worth more than that. Uh, the mech. Any armor? Uh, no. The mech may be salvageable. Uh, and it's Hold got down. written on the side Visir Robotics do not remove. This... Does that name ring a bell for any of us? Uh, it's one of the Mega Corps, but. Not particularly. How are they like? Are they like in in the language of today's brands? Where kind of do they do they lie in terms of robotics? Uh, there's maybe like four robotics companies, like Megacops, and they're one of the top two. Top two. Oh, so they fan. Are they fan. Do they do fancy stuff and kind of low end stuff, or are they more kind of mid yeah, they mid, mid uh mid range. And high end nice, stuff. Nice. This is like, like I said, they're trying to make this model look like a high end model when it is just mid range. Mm. I'm gonna say, Pulse, how about you grab whatever tools you think will sell big, and I'm gonna try and basically pick up the mech and sort of just like rudimentarily sort of like move it with it. Isn't that the thing that got? Is that the thing that got stolen from our boy Jack? Do you think? Ah. Uh... I don't know, I was pretty drunk when he was explaining, honestly. Yeah, I don't really fully remember. I, think I mean, all I remember cool, is though. kill everyone. Yeah. And that's pretty much all I remember. And then, Rick, you're really cool, and we're going to be friends in the future. I missed that part, but I imagine he would say that. That does yeah. sound like a chow thing to say. That is you so are listening, dead. it's okay. <laughs> that is so chow. He was like, you're so cool, we're like so cool together. I'm like, I know, man, it's sick. Yeah. That, that's exactly what Jack would be saying. He would totally say that, that is anyway. That's so him. That's so him. That's so let's go Jack. for a little walk, guys. Let's go and, um... Okay, let's go for a walk. Let's see what's on the other side of that other wall over there once we've all kind of chillaxed for a sec. Yes. Uh, can I, can I basically, uh, like, move the mech in front of me, sort of like a metal shield, and open the door with him? You can. You can do that. <laughs> Uh, would I recommend it? I mean, Who's would you recommend say? anything? Who's to done? say? Exactly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to call it there though because I am, I'm really, really lagging here. Uh, so I'm gonna call it there. There are still plenty of rooms to explore the next time. Me. Plenty. There's probably about two, twenty or thirty left. I was going to say, are these rooms I mean, within rooms? If we go through the entire building. Yeah, yeah maybe. all 52 yeah. floors. I've, I've mapped it all out. Uh, to be fair, he didn't say where we had to stop. He said at 52. Maybe he meant from 52 to level 1. We're going to be busy, guys. Yeah, he said kill, really? every he said kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah, he said, especially innocent civilians, mothers, and children. It's what I heard. I remember that right? explicitly because I thought that can't be what Jack said, but, but that I is guess he did. <laughs> yeah. That's a joke, obviously, guys. Obviously, it's a joke. Obviously, mm -hmm. as I'm sharpening my knife. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Let's call it there. Uh, thanks for 
watching, those who watched. Uh, and thanks for playing, those who played. And thank you for Red Bull for keeping me awake, at least partially awake. And I want to thank Ron Howard. Uh... True. <laughs> and yeah, that's it, I think. That's it. That's everyone who gets that's, credit. That, that's why we stop, yeah. But guys, if you haven't already got the quick start rules, you can get them from dragonturtlegames.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Um, you'll also be notified about when the Pledge Manager goes live. So you might be watching this on repeat. The Pledge Manager might be live now. But there will be a link either sent to you when it goes live if you sign up for the newsletter or on the website uh, if you're watching this on repeat. And that Pledge Manager should be should be up for a long old time. Check that out. Um, back to Feng. I'm, uh, I'm very, very tired. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Peace.